Well, it's time for Thirsty Thursday and a coffee company bridging the gap between Kenyan farmers and local coffee drinkers. Really cool. Exilio, you're not your typical coffee supply. The founders hope to shatter stereotypes through activism and sharing culture all over a cup of high quality coffee. So joining us live to tell us more about their product and the important message behind their brand is Francis Kangu and Maya Benham, co-founders of Exilior. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Emily and Doug. Good morning. So Francis, I met you out at a wine tasting event. You had cups of coffee there and I tried this coffee and I said, oh my gosh, we have to have this on the show because it's so good. <laughs> it's but cool. honestly, just as good as the cup of coffee is the story behind this brand. So you were actually born in Kenya. So tell us a little bit about um, your story, how you and Maya got together and, and how the company came to be. So, um, yeah, born and raised. Uh, thank you, Emily. And uh, I was born and raised in Kenya. Um, and I wasn't raised actually in a coffee community. I was raised up in another community that grew a different crop. Uh, but when I came to the U.S., I realized that people love coffee here. Uh, we started as importers of coffee, and then uh, uh, it was in 20, uh, 2020. Uh, that's when uh, everything happened, and uh, we had to actually try and survive and um, and get our coffee to the people out here. So, and uh, and that's when we we actually changed to to Exilia to start roasting the coffee. And um, and Maya and I met. Uh, <laughs> we met in uh, in Seattle. Uh, we we started uh, dating. She's the one who introduced me to specialty coffee, so I owe her everything that we do in coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that that smile, Maya, is like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty great. Well, uh, Exilior, it's it's become a certified B Corp, and uh, just explain what that means, because it, it you know can sound a little jargony, but uh, if you don't mind explaining exactly what that uh, means. Yeah. So. Uh, we became uh, a certified B Corp, and uh, we have always wanted to build a company that does good in communities, and it meant communities here and communities in Kenya, so we wanted to promote uh, social impact uh, in communities. So uh, when we founded this company, Maya and I decided that we really wanted a company that actually changes lives, not just do business as usual. So we, we, we became that, and we keep supporting causes in Kenya. Um, La Black History Month, we supported education courses, and these, these, um, this month we are supporting a woman-owned uh, business in Kenya. So we still want to make change as much change as we can in communities, and uh, we also partner with uh, nonprofits here um, in the U.S. Um, we we met a very amazing gentleman the other day called uh, Mike Cross with uh, with Free on the Outside and the work that they are doing here. So we want to get involved in improving lives. So that's a huge part of what we do. And also we want to be able to make farmers make a, a living wage and also partner with other big cops here. Yeah, which is just, it is, it's so important. I think people really do want to know more about where their food comes from and, yeah. and know that, they're, that they can help be part of some change for good too. So now Maya, if you are the one who, who had the, uh, the, the nose and the palate for specialty coffee, tell us a little bit about the kinds of coffee that you guys sell. Um, so we have our Savannah um, brand, uh, our Champion, and our Binti. Our Savannah is roasted uh, light to medium, and then our Champion is medium to um, dark, and then our Binti is roasted dark, but not too dark. Mm, and what is it about um, Kenyan coffee beans that uh, really just, because like I said, I tried this, I was like, I feel like I don't know that much about coffee, but this yeah. is a good cup of coffee. What, uh, what do you like about this product? Yeah, so one amazing thing I love is that actually the when Kenyan coffee cools down, it just gets sweeter. Um, so that's one really cool thing. Oh, that's that's wonderful. What I'm looking at uh, you know, the the back of the uh, the the coffee beans that we have here, you're roasted in Newburgh, which is something I didn't know. Which is you know my my, my hometown. Where exactly are you? Where are you are you at? Where can they find you in Newburgh? So well, we toll roast uh, with a company here in Newburgh. Uh, and um, and then uh, and then we are we are located actually in Dundee, so we are the heart of wine country, and uh, and we're always trying to to figure out how can we be able to bring wine and coffee together? Because as a running joke, we always say that uh, the process is the same. You only get a bean with coffee, and the on the other and the other side you get uh, the the liquid, which is in wine. But they are both so complex. Uh, so we we want always want to be able to to mingle with our teams here and um, and then you know remain uh, very focused in the in this small rural area that we are in at. 
Oh, I think that, that that's a marriage that pairs very well in the uh -huh. Dundee Hills. I think that'll do just fine. <laughs> yeah, Francis, Maya, thank you both so much for joining us. Great to, to meet you and, and share your story. And uh, for anyone who wants to check this out, we'll, of course, put some info on our website, too. Mm -hmm. So to learn more about Exilier Coffee, follow Coin News AM Extra. We are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We'll share some stuff this morning because it is just a really good way to start the day. It thank is. you, guys. Thank you both. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, absolutely. And exilior.com to learn more about their coffee. Really too. cool. A little mm -hmm. coffee, a little wine, just another one of those Dundee Hills uh, just marriages. Good Works stuff out, out there. Mm. You're a little biased, though. I am extremely, <laughs> extremely. I won't hide See it. See you tomorrow.